Megan Martin here, your editor of the Jacksonville Bride. I'm really excited to introduce you to Carrie Heilman. She's the owner of the White Magnolia here in historic San Marco. And we are here today to talk about bridal gown fashion and uh, what's going on with the trends right now. So Carrie, tell us a little bit about yourself and how you decided to open the White Magnolia. Well, I actually got married in November of 2010. Being a Jacksonville native, I wanted to stay here and look around for a gown. I spent many months looking around for the perfect lace dress and <laughs> I just could not find what I was looking for. So then it dawned on me that Jacksonville was really in need of a bridal boutique that offered some kind of special experience to a bride. And I just didn't find that when I was looking around town here. So my goal was to open the White Magnolia and bring girls a bridal experience that they would never forget. Tell me why you decided to name it the White Magnolia. I think that's really unique. So when I think about a magnolia, I think about just a pretty, elegant flower. And then white just tying it into bridal. And I think of magnolias being in the south. It was just a great fit. And really our store is kind of geared to the southern traditional bride. So I want to know more about the bridal experience. You talked about that and how you really wanted to open a store where you had a unique experience. So tell us about what happens when a bride chooses to come and, and come into the White Magnolia. Well, we love when brides come to shop with us. When we set an appointment for you, we block off an hour and a half of time wow. just for that one bride. So what we want to happen is the bride to come in. She can bring whoever she wants to, family, friends, anyone who she values their opinion. And we have plenty of space. So when you come in, it's just your own private appointment. Wow. And that kind of gives you the flexibility and the privacy of enjoying the special time with your loved ones. Right. Also makes you feel pampered too, which is nice. Absolutely. It's all about you. It's all about the bride. Mm -hmm. We want her to be standing here in front of the mirror and not be looking around and seeing, you know, other brides in the room with her. Right. It's just about her. That's awesome. Now you have some really unique and amazing dresses here at the White Magnolia. Thank Tell you. us about how you know, how the dresses get here, do you choose them? Does someone else choose them? Yeah, we actually travel to New York twice a year. Okay. There's a spring and a fall bridal market. So we travel to New York, go around to all the designer showrooms, wow. pick out what we think is really going to suit our bride here in Northeast Florida and bring that back here. Usually it takes about four months for the gowns to get from New York, get produced, and make it into stores. So there's a little bit of lag time there. Okay. But typically, you're going to see new stuff in fall and spring. And okay. we love going to New York and handpicking the best gowns. So how many dresses when you go to New York? How many do you choose at one time to bring back? Typically, from each designer, and currently we carry about seven, we're going to go up and pick out probably five to six gowns from each designer. Okay. It's a great time when new gowns come in to come and see the new styles and the new trends and have an opportunity to put on some great things. Yeah, that's neat. What do you see in the trends now when you go to New York and you see all these amazing designers? There's so many great things out right now, but some of our favorite trends are tool. You're seeing a lot of really pretty crystal belts right now, wow. which are great for customizing a gown mm -hmm. to really make it unique. Lace is always great. There's still a lot of that vintage kind of rustic antique theme going mm -hmm. on with gowns. So a lot of pretty kind of cotton crocheted laces are really wow. big right now. And speaking of the trends, we have Erin here who's going to model some of your looks for us. Uh, tell us about this dress. Erin's wearing a Blush by Jim Helm dress, and this is made of tulle. So speaking of the tulle skirts that we were right. talking about, this is just a really flirty, fun dress. When she moves, she looks like she's floating. But I just love it's it gorgeous. for like a real funky kind mm -hmm. of fun bride who still wants a traditional shape in the ball gown, but just a little bit of extra pop with the jagged tulle skirt and the flower right at the bodice. A bride who's getting married in a church, would you have her wear this big fun gown? Would that be totally appropriate? I always say no matter what the venue is, if the bride loves the gown, mm -hmm. it can really set the tone for the whole wedding. If the bride wants to be a little bit more romantic mm -hmm. and feminine, like with a lace gown, then she can definitely take the other elements of her wedding and incorporate that right. into the look of the gown. Something like this is going to be a little bit more flirty and fun, mm -hmm. um, but definitely I think at any venue you can take the other elements of your wedding and really kind of go along with that theme. So you could definitely be, you know, one of those whimsical brides and, and have a definitely. completely 
Definitely. cool styled wedding based off that. I love that idea. I want to know more about, you know, the glitz and the glam. So show us what you've got next. Yeah. Oh my gosh. This is phenomenal. It's beautiful. This is one of my favorite gowns that we have in the store right now. This gown is by Lazaro and it's a fully crystal encrusted bodice. Wow. And then right at the waist, we just have the real pretty antique crystal applique right mm -hmm. there. Another great trend that we're seeing right now is the sleeve coming back. So here we just have a beautiful open V-neck with the thin strap here. Okay. It also has a very pretty scoop back to it. But what we have in the skirt here is a, a Duchess Silk Satin Mermaid skirt, wow. which really just complements the crystal encrusted bodice. It's a lot of very formal elements, right. which I think really work well together. So I could definitely see this being for a very formal wedding. It has a nice kind of red carpet, it's beautiful. old Hollywood mm -hmm. look to it. So Erin obviously is beautiful and tall and thin. Tell mm -hmm. us about Mermaid. What kind of body type is this best for? Is it just for Erin's type or you know, are there other body types that can be accentuated by the Mermaid? Yeah, the Mermaid is kind of better on a, on a taller, longer person, okay. but a shorter, more petite person could wear this style as well. The trick with a mermaid or any kind of fitted and flared gown is going to be where it begins to flare out on okay. you. So on someone like Erin, who is very tall, it works for her to have the flare way down here in the mermaid skirt. Okay. For someone that's a little bit more petite, you may just want to start the flare a little bit higher up on the thigh and that will elongate her a little bit more. And now when you do choose a designer like Lazaro, is that is that part of the custom package that you can change where the flare starts? I mean, I know some of the other companies, us petite girls, we just kind of have to pick and choose from the you What's know styles happening? that they have. Mm -hmm. So I mean, so your designers can all do that. They can all custom make for the body type. Yep, depending on the designer, kind of depends on what we can do with the gown. Some designers can let us completely customize everything about the gown, where you could literally take five dresses and take elements from each of them wow. and combine it into one. And that's awesome because then it's kind of like create your own dress. Mm -hmm. But other designers, can you can do things like raise or lower the neckline, okay. add straps, change the neckline. Skirt shape is usually something that we can do okay. in terms of customizing. But even if it's something that the designer can't do, a lot of times we can do it in alterations once the dress gets okay. here. So really anything is possible in terms of customizing. So That's as great long as for you us can imagine petite it, girls. <laughs> yeah, if you can imagine it, we can usually do it for you. All right, so we've seen the fun and the flowy, and we've seen the all dolled up, the glam look. You know, I want to see what you guys have coming next. I know you talked about lace, so mm -hmm. let's see what Erin has on now. Okay. Wow. So cute, right? Right. So um, this is also a Blush by Jim Helm gown. Okay. And it's made of a cotton lace, so it's a little bit different than the normal lace that you see. It has right. a little bit more of a crocheted look to it. Um, and it's just kind of rustic and antique looking. Right. But this is really cute. You have a little bit of tool here at the bottom. Mm -hmm. This is great for a destination wedding or if you're thinking about eloping. <laughs> it's also really cute as a reception dress. Right. So girls are really into the second dress thing now. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to wear something bigger for your ceremony and even part of your reception, you could change into a little number like this. Right. And have a whole different wardrobe change for the second half of your reception. The fun thing about that is too that you can you can do maybe that glam dress if you mm -hmm. want you know some pictures all dialed up with your husband but then you can right. change into something more fun and and maybe a different style like the rustic mm -hmm. or the vintage and I love that cotton lace it's gorgeous so. This is great too for a rehearsal dinner. Right. So keep that in mind as well. That's awesome. I mean you could even do it for your rehearsal dinner and then change into maybe mm -hmm. to leave the reception that could be a cool idea as well. Yeah. I love that. Well, thanks so much. Before we go, make sure to tell our brides how they can get in contact with you and schedule an appointment to have their bridal experience here. I would love to. Thank you so much for having us. We are open Tuesday through Saturday by appointment. So when you call to make an appointment with us, we'll block off an hour and a half of time just for you. But visit our website at www.whitemagnoliabridal.com and you can click on a link to book appointment. And that will send you right to us and we'll get you all squared away. Awesome. Thanks so much, Carrie. Thank you.